Terry, um, the park here on, on Ruskin Road has been what we we'll call semi-derelict for quite a while, but I believe you've got good news. Excellent news for the residents, of course, of this area. That yesterday I found out from one of the officers who's been uh, behind this project now for something like about 15 months. We've now got all the money available, and it's uh, will now the equipment will now be installed. I've been told by the weeks and weekend. Uh, who is this down to? This is down to some very good working with the younger people of the area. Obviously, we told the council and during the consultation process what type of equipment they would actually like and some good work by one of our partners, the Clean Away Mardot Trust, who are admirable in giving us £15,000 for this project, as well as also the local community forum, of course, that want to put some new seats here, and also uh, rubbish bins, they've donated £1,500 to this project. But of course, Farrett Council, that have put the, the additional £10,000 needed to complete this, uh, this, you know, this new play equipment. Because there was a lot of anger when it was taken away. Awful lot of anger, and I can only apologise to the residents, but they must understand that this, this uh, old equipment that was taken away was badly corroded, could have given way at any time, and of course one of their children could have been injured. And the last thing I want as a wall councillor and for a council want is to have anybody who is enjoying our facilities that we supply on the benefit of the children to be injured. This new safety equipment has been ordered now, play equipment is going to be you know, state of the art and very, very good for this area. It must be about three years ago that we're over here, across the road there, regarding the, the flooding problems. And yes, over at Runningmead Road, of course, you'll no doubt there's ongoing situations with their terrible sewage flooding that's uh, damaging people's properties, their vehicles and that. And if you remember rightly at the time, uh, I arranged a meeting for, for many, many residents to turn up to at the Welcome Club. We had there, of course, Anglian Waters Management and also arranged for officers of the council from the Environmental Health Department to the Highways Department and obviously since then uh, the, the authority and, and Anglian Water have been working very closely together in partnership working of course and I'm hoping that this has all now been resolved for the residents benefit. It's a busy ward, many many issues, I guess one that was outstanding in, in, in 2011 of course was the development over in Butts Lane, I mean, I mean what's happening there? Very very concerning for many hundred people you know, around this area um, as you are aware that uh, we had to give a strategic response Several months ago now, that response was in lots of objections to that uh, development over at St Clair's Golf Course. It's now made its way through a public inquiry and now gone on to the Secretary of State for his approval. What concerns me is, is that he should not be keeping people in limbo where their concerns are, are really, really worried about whether that development is going to go ahead. And I would certainly be urging the Secretary of State to be making a, a decision sooner rather than later. Thank you very much. This is, I've got one more job to do today, and that's me and then.